Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and Craft is a note-taking app on the iPhone, iPad, and Mac that is just, it's pretty incredible. It's a really well-made app, it's really well-designed, it's really functional, and you get a ton of value for free out of it. They do have a premium subscription you can sign up for, but you get a surprising amount of value totally for free. So it's a really cool app. If you write at all, if you take notes at all on a Mac or an iPad or an iPhone, you should check it out. But I'm talking about it today because they had an especially good week. Not only did they win a uh, App of the Year award from Apple, they also released version 2.0 of the app and announced their Craft X developer platform that will let anyone write extensions for Craft to let it do whatever you want it to do, which is really, really cool. So there's more than I can talk about in this one video, but today I'm gonna to focus on that Craft X, the extensions that are available to let Craft do things it couldn't do before. So I'm gonna show you how to find these extensions, how to install them, and how to use them, kind of show you some demos of what they can do. These are in developer preview, so there may be bugs, they may have more or less of them once this is like fully released, once they consider this a stable release, but it's out, it's public, so I wanna check them out and see how they work. So let's jump in. Okay, so I've already installed a couple of these. Let me show you how they work. So I'm in Craft right now, and let's pretend these are some real meeting notes. They're similar to what I would actually take in a real meeting, um, but I have some action items that are tasks, and I wanna get them over to my task manager. So let me pull up things, which is my task manager. I can go ahead and select these three to-dos. I'm gonna go over here to the new extensions option. I'm going to send to apps, and I can choose any of these. I'll just say send to things. And now I have these three tasks in my inbox that are exactly like what they, they look like in Craft. So now I can move them to my today, I can move them to a project, I can do whatever I need to do with them. So that's really nice. That's one thing that's available now um, that you couldn't do this easily before. Now, let's try another one. So here's another note that I have. This is a blog post that I wrote in Craft. So I've got a title, image, and then some text down here for um, kind of what it is, and it's about craft. <laughs> so um, what we're gonna do is publish it. And there's an extension that lets me export to blog. And I've got my ghost site set up. So I can go ahead. Uh, there's a configuration that has a key in it, so I'm not gonna show you that bit. Um, but I'm just gonna say publish to ghost. It's publishing, and it says publish to ghost. So let me pull up my website. Here it is, refresh. And this was posted from craft. There we go. And I got the title, the image, and then here's all the text. And if we pull up the post in Craft over here, you can see it's exactly that, right? So that's really, really nice that this is, let me get that out of the way. Um, that was really easy. So uh, this is some stuff that you couldn't do in Craft before. Um, because I have a ghost site, I actually did not use Craft because I needed to be able to publish. And now that I can publish from Craft, that opens the door to me being able to use this uh, more regularly. So that's really cool. But how do you actually make this happen? So let me get this out of the way and we're gonna go back over here to craft and I'm gonna expand it a little bit to get a little more breathing room. So to enable these in the first place, you wanna to go to your account, you wanna to go to preferences, and then you wanna to go to advanced. And there's a new option here in the 2.0 release for craft extensions and it's gonna be disabled by default, but you can hit enabled and that's gonna make it so that this little guy shows up here. So. Let's go ahead and go to the web. Um, I've got this page for introducing Craft X uh, down here. And basically this is their website and they have some preview extensions that they've created to kind of show off what can be done. And there's a whole bunch here. We're gonna, we can look at Hacker News items. This is the publishing one that I installed. Uh, there's some other ones here. Uh, there's some power tools. If I click into any of these, you can kind of see what they can do, but there's like some find and replace that's available. Um, you can like adjust styling of multiple things at the same time. It's There's some cool stuff here. Um, the one I wanna show is this first one actually though, uh, bring in information from Hacker News. So this is basically like view the top 10 stories on Hacker News and Craft, uh, get the original pages and you can insert them into a document. So cool, there's a video demo, we're not gonna watch that. Uh, but they have instructions for how to set these up. So enable craft extensions, we already did that. So that's kind of showing you what we just did. Um, it will show you this kind of like notification. So I just made sure that that was turned on um, off screen. Uh, and then this is what you're gonna wanna download. So it's a craft X file. So we're gonna download that. It's gonna download to my downloads folder. And now I need to, well, I'll, I know how to do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> so when I click on this guy over here, I wanna hit the plus to add a new one. It's gonna pull up my uh, file selector, right? And then I see the file here, hackernewstop10.craftx. So we're gonna open that. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna install this? Yes. 
And there we go, successfully installed. And so now I can click on this and it's gonna query Hacker News to find the current top 10 stories. So here they all are. Um, you can click into, uh, let's see, you can click into the comments, obviously, and then you can click into the URL that you're going to as well. So all of this is here. Um, I wonder, let's see, I think I can insert. So I inserted 10 blocks. So yeah, it looks like if you wanna just like insert these into a document, if you wanna like document these every day, it looks like you can add them like this. Um, but yeah, that's just one extension they wrote. Uh, presumably there'll be many more in the future, but there's a several extensions here just as kind of a preview. All of them, whichever one you go into, there's like a custom snippets. They all have the kind of the same thing. They have a couple preview videos. Uh, they have instructions for how to set them up and everything. And it's pretty easy. So they don't have things for everything yet but there's definitely stuff that you can play around with. Some of this might be useful to you right away. Like I said, being able to publish to Ghost is hugely helpful to me. Um, I like the Hacker News thing, kind of getting ideas to write. So the idea that I can kind of bring up Hacker News in craft, find something interesting and then write about it and link to it, that's pretty cool. So I think it's making craft more powerful right out of the gate for me. Uh, and I'm gonna be using it for more things and keep trying to use, um, just in incorporate it into my life because uh, this makes it really, really exciting, uh, in my opinion. So that's Craft, uh, Craft 2.0, Craft X, and some extensions that work in the new app that you can try out today on your Mac. So check it out, link in the description. Again, not a sponsored video or anything, but hope you enjoyed and hope you get some value out of the app. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.